Hello, welcome to Temple Baptist Church, our devotional time for the day. We're going to be in 1 Peter chapter 1. I'm going to encourage you to look at verses 6 through 9. I'm going to use verse 7 and uh, probably verse 8 a little bit here and uh, just to set a scenario for us. Uh, uh, those have come so that proven genuineness of your faith of greater worth than gold, which perishes even though refined by fire, may result in praise, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. And, and what Peter is doing here, and you look down at verse eight, though you have not seen him, you loved him. And even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and are filled with an experience, expressible and glorious joy. Now, Peter is reinforcing an important idea that goes all the way back to the Gospel of John, chapter 20 and verse 29. The risen Christ told Thomas, he said, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen me, yet has believed. And that includes all of our generation, doesn't it, who follow Jesus. We haven't, haven't went present with him he, when he was physically on earth, but we can embrace faith uh, and the record of this uh, recorded in the scripture and the presence of the Holy Spirit is there with us. You know, evidence of the truth, what we need, will not see but believe as Paul wrote, he said, we live by faith, not by sight. In 2 Corinthians chapter five and verse seven, they tell me that 24 karat gold is nearly 100% pure gold with few impurities. But that, that, pre, that, that percentage is very difficult to achieve. Refiners can most commonly use two uh, methods for purification process. The Miller process is the quickest and least expensive, but it results in gold only being about 99.9% .9 pure. There's a whole wheel process that takes a little more time and costs more, but the gold produced is 99.99% pure. In biblical times, the refiner used fire as a gold purifier. The gold, uh, the fire caused impurities to the rise to the surface and they were easily removed. And the, the first letter to believers in, in Jesus through uh, Asia Minor, the apostle Peter used this gold refining process as a metaphor for uh, the ways trials works in our life as a believer. And at, at times, many believers were being, at this time, they were being persecuted by the Romans for their faith in Christ. And, and I think Peter knew firsthand what it was uh, uh, to be uh, persecuted. But uh, Peter explains bringing out the genuineness of our faith. You know, perhaps we are, uh, you feel like you're going through the refiner's fire. You feel the heat of setback, of illness or other changes. But the hardship may be the process by which God is purifying the gold of our faith. In our pain, we might beg uh, God to quickly end the process. We usually do, don't we? We, we live in a fast-paced world, but, but He knows what is best for us. You know, even when life hurts, and it will, and it does, and it's going to, but uh, when it hurts, just keep connected to the Savior, seeking His comfort and peace. And these have come to you so that your proven genuineness of your faith of greater wealth than gold, which perishes even though refined by far, even though they make it 100% pure gold, is still not going to last, is it? All that lasts is reinforcing is that we trust in God. We may be, you know, we may find ourselves in the refiner's fire because we need to be, we need to be refined, need to be some impurities got out of our life. And sometimes that's the only way that God can do that to get our attention. But whatever the means may be, just uh, uh, He knows what's best for us. Again, our service times here at Temple 
are Sunday morning, 8 o'clock and 10 o'clock, uh, Sunday night at 6, and Wednesday night at 7. And we would certainly enjoy having you at any and every opportunity, like to meet you personally. But until then, may the good Lord bless you.